gonna be a scorcher out here today. It's probably gonna get to like 90 degrees really quick. So we're gonna get things moving fastly. Get into some skating here at uh, Algon Norte Skate Park in Carlsbad, California. I haven't been to this area of the skate park in a super long time, like I feel like five or six years. I always go straight to the bull area. So I wanna get out of my comfort zone a little bit while we talk about the topic of this video. It's YouTube making you a better skater or me a better skater. Yeah, let's get warmed up before it gets too hot. My buddy Al is joining us today. Get some things started over here in the street area. Then we'll make our way over to the bulls. And I have like five or six different things that I think has really helped me and could really help you as well. Getting nice and toasty. Gotta take that beanie off because uh, otherwise it's asking for death. We're gonna go check out some of the other area. One thing that YouTube has really helped me with or sort of allowed me to do or has motivated me to do is be accountable for showing up. It's kind of like you have that one friend has like three kids, full-time job, still goes to the skate park, has a wife at home, has like all these responsibilities, but still shows up like once a day or once a week and still rips you're like dang i have i have no excuses i can't make any scapegoats or anything like that so i think it's definitely allowed me or sort of forced me in a healthy way to kind of like keep showing up even today i was like man i could take another day off from skating but at the same time i was like all right no i gotta go i gotta show up and that's a good thing it kind of like makes you get out there it's motivation to get out there and do it and i don't i think that could be a bad thing in many ways but for me, it's like motivation. This translates to other things later that I'll get into, but uh, let's check out some of the other obstacles here before we go check out Big Al, because I know he's over there destroying the bull somewhere. He's all laced up over here. Dang. Look at that thing, dude. I never thought like two years ago would I see Big Al at the skate park with a big old tripod like that. <laughs> like that's commitment. That is commitment. See, there's... See, that's like one of the things for sure. It kind of, kind of goes to the accountability and showing up thing. It's like Al's motivated to show up, come kill at the skate park so he can make a video for y'all too because he's got a YouTube channel. He's uh, motivated to get out here. And I've noticed he's gotten better since having the channel. I think it's like kind of got him out of his box a little bit. <laughs> A similar thing but a little bit different is that it's installed some confidence to get outside of the comfort zone one thing i've always wanted to learn was backside inverts for example that's a trick that i wanted to learn forever my whole life until i actually had a reason not a reason but like youtube kind of helped me sort of get accountable for it and held, held like positive pressure it's like a positive thing in a way i was like all right as soon as i start filming a few and i put it out there i was kind of like now i have to land it for the people for you guys my homies so yeah, that's another good thing about it. Same with front blunts. Al helped me learn that trick, front blunts. That's another one of those tricks where I feel like I avoided forever because I was like, oh, I don't need to do that. I'll just go and skate and have fun, ride my skateboard. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like I was just in a much more comfortable place before starting the channel with just like my skating and doing like repetition in a way. And I, and I was okay with that. But in a way, now having it sort of like pushed me out of that comfort zone, allowed me to get some new tricks that I never would have done before. And I think even having your guys' feedback has really helped you as well well it's like it's like a nice to have like a little bit of a back and forth i'm not just like getting these tricks and then like going to the dungeon with them i actually like put them somewhere so it kind of is like a nice way to sort of spark me up to get even new tricks as well so i think it's made me a better skater because i'm filled with the positive pressure to land tricks i've always wanted but now i'm also getting like new tricks sort of inspired by those as well
I'll see that. Three piece. Pivot fakey, fake back pivot, back pivot, back fakey. What was it again? Fakey Ollie, back nose pick. Pivot fakey, <laughs> fakey pivot fakey the hard way. And then fakey Ollie, back nose pick or switch pivot fakey. Back to back to back. That was like a, a three peat, like boom, that was awesome. Another yeah. thing that I think YouTube has really helped me with in my skating is uh, I can just be more vulnerable. Like I've talked about microdosing journey, I've talked about losing my full-time job. Like I'm very vulnerable with my YouTube channel. I think that's allowed me to be a more confident person in general. So you might think like, how does that relate to skateboarding? I think skateboarding, a lot of it is mental. A lot of it is this like mental barrier, mental games, fear, all that stuff has a lot to do with it. So I think just being vulnerable in general, like talking about these things I normally wouldn't talk about to people in public setting. I've kind of been vulnerable on my YouTube channel and that's allowed me to talk about those things in more of a public setting. And I just feel more confident on my board, like in general, like going to the skate park can be intimidating. Going and skating DIY spots can be intimidating. Going and skateboarding could be intimidating in general. But what I've noticed is I feel less intimidated or less insecure and less scared now from just doing this channel. I think a lot of that has really helped me, which then does translate to my skating. I just feel more confident on the board. This video is dedicated to all, wow, there's that sweat issue. I'm gonna figure out the sweat helmet issue. I'm so sick of these helmets. They're trash. Skate helmets suck. But anyways, I wanna dedicate this video to all the subscribers. I really appreciate you. That's honestly what has made me a better skater. Sounds super cheesy, maybe artificial, a little bit narcissistic. Maybe, I don't know, but if it weren't for the subscribers and people like you supporting me on this channel, if you're not subscribed, make sure you do subscribe. Appreciate all of you that do. I feel like I'm very thankful for you because I wouldn't be at this place in my skateboarding if it weren't for you. Honestly, I think there's a plethora of reasons I could tell you how YouTube has made me personally a better skateboarder and how it could probably make you a better skateboarder as well. I know it sounds super cheesy. One thing that I really love about it though is I've met new connections. I've met subscribers from the channel. I've met fellow YouTubers to make videos with from the channel. I've met people that are offering me places to stay when I travel. I would have never had that. And that's like motivation to go different places, check out different things like the DIY community here on YouTube is really building and I love that about it too it's like it's a whole community so that aspect of it has made me a better skateboarder so I feel more confident like I'm scared of building I'm scared of building DIY spots a lot of the times but like since I've made the channel I think I've gotten better at that as well I mean it doesn't really have to do with skateboarding but in general I think I've just become a better person more patience and just more like perspective for myself as well and I don't know, it sounds like, like I'm ranting a little bit, but I'll just be honest. The YouTube is a form of therapy for me. That was something I'm thinking about earlier. It's like, I love making skate videos. I love making edits. It's something that like I did way before having a channel. Like I loved making skateboard videos, but I was filming other people a lot of the time. I wasn't filming myself. And I think now that I've kind of like shifted that I'm behind the lens as in front of the lens. Like it's, it's fun because I get to be creative. I get to make videos, edit them. Also get to be in front of it. And all of that is very therapeutic for me. I think it's made me a better skateboard just because like I'm not going out and just filming other people. Now I have to go out and like film myself skateboarding, which is something that's like I just never did up until a couple years ago. And I think it's really allowed me to get better. It's one thing that I'm working on though, coming soon that I've been like trying not to skate too much, although this is becoming a big skate day somehow is I wanna do five days in a row of trying to learn five different tricks every day, upload a new video of exactly my progress from that day and try to learn five different tricks. And I'm not saying I wanna learn one trick every day. I'm gonna try all five tricks. I have them written out, listed, and then hopefully I can land all five within that five day window. So I think I'm gonna do something like 
maybe trying each one for 20 minutes or 15 minutes, something like that. But I would never have that sort of opportunity or reason to challenge myself if it weren't for YouTube if it weren't for having this YouTube channel. So I think that's like something that's coming up planning and I think I wouldn't be planning or like trying to think of those little sort of uh, almost like progressive sprints, like progression sprint, kind of like how you have like an art design sprint. You have like a progression sprint where you just make this tight little window and you try to make a lot happen. And it's been scientifically proven, right? That like, if you do that, it's a good way to progress and then take a quick little break and then keep doing that. So yeah, I'm gonna take like, two or three days off and then try that challenge. Let me know what you think the tricks are. If you if you can guess what the tricks are down below. They're all five tricks that I've never done before. 